We've always known that the Upper Cumberland is rich with talented musicians, but many times it's hard for these musicians to showcase their talents on a national stage. But I had the honor of sitting down with a very talented musician who has made it into the national spotlight and received many awards for his work. Jamie Daly of the bluegrass duo Daly and Vincent took the time to tell us why he is proud to call Jackson County, Tennessee his home. We're here today with a well-known Upper Cumberland native, Mr. Jamie Daly with Daly and Vincent. Thank you for joining us. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about where you grew up here in the Upper Cumberland. I grew up here in Gainesboro, Tennessee, right above the Roaring River and the Cumberland River where they meet. And uh, you could walk out our front door and, and see the Roaring and Cumberland River above the boat dock there. And I loved, loved, loved growing up here. And how did you end up in the music? Well, my dad plays music. So since I was three years old, my dad is J.B. Daly, and he, he plays music, and he uh, would take me around with his group. And at three years old, I would be on stage singing with a bottle in my mouth most of the time and beating on a tambourine right. out of time. Uh, later on, as I uh, grew up, nine years old or so, I started playing musical instruments in his band with him. Went on to create my own regional band at the time and played all the local festivals around Middle Tennessee and got to know right. everybody. And then in uh, late 1998, I received a call from a legend in bluegrass music who I adored and watched on television and I knew all of his songs, Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. And he asked me to come and try out and sing the high part and play. And I did and got the job. Uh, we, I think, um, over my nine-year tenure with him, uh, we won Vocal Group of the Year for seven years in a row, uh, along with other awards and several Grammy nominations. And, uh, and then I, about that same time, I met Darren Vincent, who played with Ricky Skaggs in Kentucky Thunder. And uh, we started singing on some records with Dolly Parton and different artists throughout Nashville on some of her records. And uh, there was a record that Darren was producing with different artists on it. And he went to the record head. He said, if I can bring Dolly Parton on this record, will you let Jamie Daly and I have our own song? What an and he said, well, you do that and you can have a song. Well, he did that. We cut the song. It went number one for six months over everything on the record. And then we were offered a record deal, long story short. Wow. And we left Doyle and Ricky with a year's notice and started Daly and Vincent. And that was 11 years ago. And our first paid tour date was on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. That's where we started and kicked off our career. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, over the years growing up here in Gainesboro mm -hmm. and around this area, you had some, obviously, some extremely um, good support from your family, from your friends, from uh, your father who obviously yeah. uh, took you along and, and let you be a part of, of his life in music. Absolutely, and, and my mom and dad both were so supportive, uh, so loving, never made me do anything. If you want to do it, son, we'll take you, make sure you get there, and make sure you get to play, and daddy would play with me, mom would support. She'd bring chicken along in a basket, whatever it took, and we'd stay out to four or five in the morning doing this, you know, and get wow. home at 7 a.m. And, 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 and on top of my family, uh, I get emotional about it, but Gainesboro has been so supportive uh, of me and my music. Um, and, and for me, personally, in Gainesboro, I know almost everybody here, and they're just my extended family. They are a very proud community, very proud of you and your accomplishments. For the youth around the Upper Cumberland, watching you and your accomplishments uh, in life, coming from such a small town, a small area, mm -hmm. um, gives them inspiration that they can get out there and, and make dreams come true. Oh, uh, Obviously, you're living your dream. I'm living my dream, and, and, I, and I hope it gives them encouragement because they can do th bigger things than I ever thought about doing if they set their mind to it. They, they can do what they can. You know, we have these kids in this area have the potential to be president of the United States someday. Right. You know, they need to follow their dreams. Uh, and one thing I had to learn early on when I got out into the world, there was a lot of people through the years that told me, no, you'll never be able to do that. Right. No, you can't do that. No, he'll never do this. He'll never do that. What I learned quickly was you cannot listen to the naysayers. You have there to you follow your heart. You have to be um, in a position to strengthen yourself and stay persistent. And no matter what, follow that dream and treat people right as you go along. So you have been away from the Upper Cumberland on tour and, and 
with Daly and Vincent doing wonderful things around the world, around the, the country, um, do you plan to come back home? Do you plan to do. come back someday? Uh, I live in Nashville, Brentwood, Tennessee. I live there. Uh, I have for about 15 years now. Uh, I've, I've been coming up here the last two or three years a lot, and I have loved it so much that I got to thinking several years ago, I would love to have some land here to come back and build. And so just recently, about six months ago, uh, I was able to buy quite a bit of land uh, that uh, I could clear some stuff on top and, and, and eventually build up there. And I've been working on that piece of property. And hopefully very soon in the next year or so, I hope to break ground and, and build a, a dream home there um, so I can be back here at least part time. Thank you, Jamie, for being here with us. And we also want to thank um, the Bull and Thistle for allowing us this space today. And we look forward to seeing you out there on the road and on the television and, and everywhere. And, and we then enjoy we what you do too. So thank, thank you. you. Um, and then we enjoy having you back home here when you're, when you're home. Happy to be here. Thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you.